Now we know we have the stylus in the right place, but here's what we don't know. Is our cantilever properly aligned? The cantilever could be pointing, it could be angled this way or that way. We don't know, but there is one and only one perfect way to get it right in order to maximize your musical enjoyment. So we have to spin the Wally tractor to point two. See point two right here? These are the numbered, the numbered positions. And again, if you are aiming at the newer record collection arcs, they aren't numbered positions, they're lettered positions. All right, and you'll see further that at point two, there are two options, Lofgren and Barrowald. Of course, I'm aligning to Lofgren, so that's where we're going to aim at. You'll see these two sets of triplet etches. And this one right here, the one further to closer to the uh, spindle, is the Lofgren etching set. And that's the one I'm going for next. The center of those three etches. All right. So to place it properly, what we'll do is I'll just roughly eyeball it while the stylus is off of the Wally tractor. And you see this, this radius right here that is etched, laser etched into the Wally tractor. I want the stylus to come down and fall on top of that. Then, and only then, when that falls, when the stylus can fall into that groove, will I know that these lines, which are perfectly perpendicular to this radius, are aiming in the exact angle I wish them to. All right, so I drop it down. And let me see, am I in? Nope, I am not in that line, that radius that's coming from the center. So I spin in a little bit more. And a little bit more. Maybe a little touch more, and I'm there. All right, so now we know we've got the stylus on that radius. Now, for the, sometimes I like to use a little light like this. This is really neat. I like this a flexible leg, and then I put a little blue tack right there, and I fix that, and I get a nice, nice lighting, and I hope that helps a little bit. Now what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to get that cantilever to go right in the center of those three lines. So here I go. I'm going to pick it up and drop it right in the center of the three lines. There it is. All right, so now, arguably, aligning the cantilever is perhaps even more important than getting the stylus to fall perfectly into that etch mark of the arc. Um, at this point, what we we'll want to do is we we'll want to make sure that as we're looking at this cantilever, we have our eye in the right place. And that's why a mirrored protractor is so very important. Because as you'll notice in uh, this photograph on the screen is that the, the reflection of the etch marks and the etch marks themselves must line up for you to know that your eye is in the right place. As your eye drifts out of alignment, you will see six lines instead of three. So looking carefully in your magnifying glass, move your head to the left and to the right until you see all of those six lines become three lines. The reflection of the etch is perfectly parallel with the etch itself. Then you look up and look at that cantilever is that cantilever also straight in line with the, uh, the etch marks. In my case, it is not. My cantilever is slightly leaning to the left. So, cantilever is leaning to the left. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen only one of these screws, not both of them. You do not want both of them to be loosened, because one of them is going to at least hold the position of the, uh, the stylus. Now I've loosened the one side, and I'm going to just move it in almost imperceptibly so that I can take out some of that skew I'm seeing in the cantilever. And I'll give it a little snug down. Now let's drop it back down again. And use the magnifying glass again for that. I'm going to have to pick it up and put it in its center groove. There it is. And She's looking like she's right on. Good. I got it. Now from here, what do I do? I go to point number three to confirm what I saw at point number two. Again, you'll notice from point number three, 
Hopefully you can see that. Again, I've got Lofgren and Bearwald set of etchings to choose from. Of course, I'm choosing Lofgren because I'm aligning to Lofgren. So I bring it over there. I spin the Wally tractor once again because, again, I want to drop that stylus right on that radius line right there. And if it doesn't drop in there, I'm going to spin the Wally tractor to make it happen. Ooh, I got pretty lucky, but not quite. There we go. I'm sure that's it. Looking good. Now that we're at point number three, I got to make sure that the cantilever is right in the center of the three lines on the Lofgren etchings. And there it is. Again, remember, once you've found the place on that line for your stylus, then don't move the Wally tractor. And oh, this looks perfect too. Again, I'm making sure that my eye is in the right place by removing the parallax error. And the reflections of those etches are perfectly parallel with the etches themselves. And so is the cantilever. Perfectly in line. All right. Now, here's the... Here's where it gets a little, even a little bit more interesting. Particularly for beginners, you might see at points number two and three, you might see a perfectly aligned cantilever, but your eye is not experienced. You need to see what error looks like in order to be sensitive to one degree of error in, uh, or, or so in cantilever alignment. And that's where points number four and five, which are unique to the Wally tractor, come in. Points number four and five aren't the null points, which points two and three are. Null points means that's perfect tangency to the groove. Points number four and five correspond to the greatest error that your cantilever will have relative to the groove. We want to see that error because uh, it does for, for two reasons. One, it trains the eye to be sensitive to what one degree off looks like. And two, because the uh, point number four and point number five are both angling in separate directions in two different degrees, you want to be able to see that to confirm everything is perfect. So once again, we're going to drop down, make sure that we are in the groove of the uh, radius, and then make sure we're on the center line. Whoop. There it is. And here's where I can see. I can see very clearly that the cantilever, once I've aligned my eye, remember to remove parallax error by aligning the reflections of the etchings with the etchings themselves. Now I can see that cantilever is indeed leaning a little bit inward, a little bit to the right. That's exactly what we want to see. But at point number five, we want to see something different. At point number five, we want to see that cantilever, again, drop it down on the radius. Let's see where it is. Right there. You want to align it, and when you look at it, you want, you want to see that that cantilever is now leaning inward towards the spindle at a greater degree than what you saw it Point number four. When you can see that, well, you can eyeball for your eye that point five is worse than point four, and both of them, point four is leaning inward, and point five is, uh, sorry, point four is leaning towards the exterior of the record, and point five is leaning towards the spindle. When you can see that, you know you've trained your eye to be sensitive enough to minute differences, and you know you've got your stylus cantilever assembly perfectly aligned.